Well, we bought a motorhome for our dogs and we wanted to show you what it's all about and give you a quick tour. So come on in. This is our bedroom. It currently has no bed, so we need to buy one of those. It has so many storage compartments. It has a safe and so many things. Now this is our bathroom. It actually has so much space. Like this cabinet is big and that sink is nice. And then there's more storage under here. This is our closet and there's actually a lot of space and a lot of mirrors. And this is our lovely shower. She's actually pretty big. Um, and the lovely toilet. And this is our kitchen and our wonderful fridge and freezer. And then we have our microwave and our stove and our oven. And again, we have so many drawers and so much space to store stuff. And this is our living room. This couch turns into a bed and then this dinette turns into a bed as well. And there's storage under there and then storage up top. And we're thinking of maybe bringing our bunny Ollie with us and we're gonna maybe build him something to put under here. And then our driver's seat and our passenger seat and Bronco loves to look out the window. It's such a big window and he loves it. I wanted to sit down and tell you what we bought, why we bought it, and where we plan on going and what we plan on doing with it. We bought a 2003 Class A motorhome. It is a Hurricane, what is it? Hurricane? Thor. It's a Hurricane by Thor Motor Coach. She has 38,000 miles on her and it's a Ford V10 gas motor. And maybe you're wondering why I keep calling it a her and we came up with a name and her name is Patricia. Like, Pitbull and Patricia mixed together. We even got a custom license plate and I'm going to keep it a surprise until it comes into the mail. So there are multiple reasons why we wanted to buy a motorhome or an RV. And originally we were looking at a travel trailer and you hook it on the back of a truck, but most of the trailers we were looking at were way over our budget. And then we would have to potentially buy a new truck to pull it with and combining those two things together equals a lot of money. And honestly, we were looking at some newer um, travel trailers and I mean, we were only looking at the ones kind of ish within our budget. So maybe the more expensive ones are nicer, but a lot of them just did not look very well built. Like a lot of trimming was falling off or like even pieces like this were falling off and it just did not look the best. And so we learned that maybe a lot of the older things were built a little better. And one of the salesmen even told us things that were built pre COVID were built a lot better. So that's kind of what we learned. So we decided to not look for something brand new and to keep looking for something used, but it was hard to find something used that we felt like was worth what the people were asking. Then we started looking at motorhomes because it would be probably a lot more comfortable for the dogs and then we wouldn't have to buy a new truck. I mean, some people will buy a vehicle to tow behind it, but I think for right now and what we're wanting to do, we would be okay with not towing another vehicle. And I just had in my head that motorhomes were really expensive. I mean, they are, but when you look at older motorhomes compared to like 2015 to 2018 travel trailers, some of them are kind of within the same price range. We were actually talking to a gentleman at Best Friends when we were there a couple weeks ago and he was telling, we were asking him for advice because he RVs and things like that. And he said, one thing I will tell you is the first motorhome you look at or the first whatever, whether it be a car or whatever it is, it's not going to be the one you buy. And that was very true for us. We looked at like two or three brand new things. Just, we were not going to buy them because they were not within our budget, but we just wanted to see kind of how big it is inside and what it would be like with the dogs. And then we went and looked at one used RV, or sorry, motorhome in Las Vegas. And it just was not the best. It wasn't terrible, but it would for sure need some remodel. And the person selling it just didn't know everything about it. So when you're spending a lot of money, you kind of want to know a lot about it. So we didn't go with that one. And then the next one we looked at was Patricia. And 
honestly for 2003 she is really clean inside and it obviously looks like a trailer like with the color of the cabinets and the couches and stuff but at least it's not like super I don't mean to be rude to anybody super ugly patterns or colors or things like that that's just not I don't really like that um, so she's doable and she's livable well we're not living in it but she's campable sleepable for right now <laughs> so eventually we want to paint the inside of her white but the more I look at it there's like a lot of small crevices that would be hard to get to I don't know we will see and then maybe paint the cabinets white with like black hardware and then we for sure need to get new flooring because there's white carpet in here and whoever thought of white carpet in a trailer just white carpet in general just is not the best especially when you have two dogs so we are going to have to get new flooring eventually and then maybe when we have more money um, paint it so the main reason why we bought it was obviously because we want to travel, but I seriously have not seen very many states and there's so much to see. And before my mom passed away in 2017, she would talk about how she wished she could have traveled or the things that she wished she could have saw. She was able to go on one trip before she passed away, but together her and I went to California and mainly that's where she went was California because it was close to where she lived. And I just want to be able to travel while I can. There's honestly nothing really holding Jed and I back. We just have the two dogs. So now that we have something that we can put the dogs in, we are basically free to go anywhere. And by anywhere, I mean wherever we can afford because gas is very expensive. And we're still doing this thing on a budget. The only states that I've been to, California. I went to Florida when I was five or six. I maybe went to Arizona as a kid. I think I went to Alaska when I was a baby, I think. Oh, and I grew up in Las Vegas, so I've been to Nevada, but I've only seen like Pahrump and Las Vegas. And then Jed and I went to Colorado a couple years ago, Denver, and that's about it. And Jed's been to basically the same places, plus Idaho, Washington, Oregon. So basically we just haven't seen the world and there's so much to see. And I'm so anxious to learn about different cultures and different people and the way they live. Even when we went to Kanab, that's 45 minutes, an hour away from us. It's like a completely different world out there so there's just so much to see we've quickly learned that there's so much that we need to learn and so much to know about the RVing world or camping or whatever you want to call it so if you have any tips or tricks for us or anything you think we need to know feel free to comment down below and let us know maybe if you have your favorite places you've ever traveled we're hoping to maybe stay within like the air we live in Utah so we're just trying to stay within the surrounding areas so that way we don't go bankrupt paying for gas we do have one trip planned that we are going to travel across the country with the dogs well by planned we have it in our head we just need to plan it out and make sure we can for sure go so be sure to stay tuned for that so that way when that time comes in March hopefully we can take you along with us. But in the meantime, we are going to be taking just smaller trips that are only for a couple days. So that way we can get used to it, get the dogs used to it. Bronco is pretty scared of the motorhome. And I think it's just all the noises and rattling of things when you drive. So we are just going to try to get him warmed up so that way he learns to love it. Well, that is it for today's video. We are so excited to have this motorhome so that way the dogs can go exploring with us and we can all see new things together. So if you haven't already, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to our channel and we will see you next time.